Yeah, cool. So I imagine that was the movie, South by Southwest. Such great people, just such a good family. We were shooting a show that we thought nobody was watching, and here we are 15 years later, we got three sort of iterations of this show, and each one getting bigger. It really felt like we were making it like a little bit in our basement. We're like, cool, like nobody will ever see it, but we're making good stuff, so if anybody sees it one day, and then we have like a new audience, and it's getting to enjoy it, and uh, it's cool, it's a good thing we worked hard. I just don't have time to be responsible for every little thing that goes wrong in your life. Rob said that maybe he had had 17 girlfriends in his life and you know making this call to me was like number four on like his breakup calls list or whatever and he just had a hard time dialing the number and I was cool I was like oh cool listening to the whole story and then he's like you know and you know Logan is killed in the blast and my heart just fell out and I was like oh my god and I was like okay okay and then it took me like three days, and I'm like, who do I tell? Like, I gotta tell somebody, this is so rough, you know? This is wrong. I mean, a boy in a girl's bathroom, it's just... It's so wrong, it's right. When they first got together, it really came out of a friendship or a care. That's a lot stronger, and I think it came from that, and we were so broken as characters that I think it just uh, was awesome. I'm really pleased to be a part of that and to, you know, be able to help Veronica sort of find a better way, you know, which I think that was my role. So these are my twin sisters and my twin brothers. Um, I have two sets of identical twins in my family and identical twins don't run in the family. I'm the oldest, uh, right in the middle there, the most handsome. I got into acting from my brothers and sisters. My sisters were the little girl on Growing Pains. My brothers were also into acting and uh, they both, you know, my sisters played one girl and only us as a family sitting at home could be like, that's cursed and oh, that's Kelsey. That's, you know, we could tell the difference, but nobody could have kids of my own, you know, and I, th I think just as a parent, you know, like, if you can teach your kids sort of love and like, you know, set a good example, try to treat others as you'd want to be treated. I was not a good big brother. I was okay to my sisters, and if anybody picked on my brothers, I'd probably be like, hey man, that's my job, what are you doing, you know? Oh yeah. So that's me on a horse. I think his name was Goofy because he had like these teeth that were like way over the, his bottom teeth and he was a retired racehorse. And uh, I was doing a movie for Disney um, where I was playing a jockey, a six foot jockey. It was a horse that liked to listen to music. Like this was our story in the movie and the more like rock and roll he heard, the faster he ran and he started winning races. And I was like this goofy character that loved rock and roll and I put my headphones on him and yeah, finally able to show that to my kids, some of my work, instead of the crazier stuff I do. But I think right around here is where I started to learn like the value of hard work and uh, the success that comes with that. Oh yeah, that's my beauty. We just had our 15 year anniversary. We have four kids and she still looks like that. We were friends beforehand in high school, which I think is so smart. This is, here we go with the advice. I think like to have a, a partner who is your a friend, like your best friend is awesome because I, I tell my friends, I'm like, well, how, how, you don't, you're not having sex with a person that much, so you better like them because, you know, that's what it's about, you know what I mean? Somebody, your best friend, you'd want to just hang out with, you know what I mean? And I feel like we're totally that, you know? And I don't think there's anybody like uh, longer term that is better for me than her. This was cool, this was at the Chinese theater when we released the movie and my parents got to meet my on-screen parents and got a photo with all of them. And it was awesome because it was, you know, the Hollywood Boulevard was closed for this tiny movie, you know, this tiny show. I got to drive my BMW that I drove in the show, you know, or in the movie and, uh, you know, with the top down and pull out and unstopped Hollywood Boulevard as a dream, you know. The show, yeah, keeps coming back and I, I think that um, it feels like we get five or ten years and then we get to do it all again and it's always bigger and some shows kind of wane a little bit and you know our show is kind of on the rise you know it's pretty cool it's just giving me such great joy to work hard and have it pay off and i feel like you know in your life like the things that you're proud of they need hard work like the things that are very good accomplishments don't come like super easy i'm just really proud to like reap some of the benefits but doing the work beforehand